hey guys welcome to excel tool channel again and in this another episode of lookup function and formulas in excel we are going to cover one more important function which is called indirect function in excel so basically indirect function in excel returns a valid reference from a text string i know it may be confusing for you but you're going to follow that in upcoming minutes so if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do it because we are going to cover each and every functionality of excel in this channel so let's get started so basically i have divided this video or you can say chapter into three parts first we will the basics basics covers cells and range references as we know indirect is a reference function so second part will be the named range reference we have created the named ranges and we are going to look up some value using an indirect function and we look up third will be the worksheet reference if you have multiple worksheet and you want to return a text string from a valid references you can also do that with the help of indirect function so let's get started to the first part which is the basics see indirect function basically as i said earlier returns a valid cell reference from a given text string indirect is very useful when you need to build a text value by concatenating separate text strings that can be interpreted as a valid cell reference i know it may sound confusing to you right now but you are going to learn that part of definition in upcoming minutes so here we have a very basic worksheet here and as i said earlier to understand any function you need to write it down in any one of your cell and read its argument so to any to write any formula or function we write it like so it just have one main argument which is reference text so what does indirect function do practically so we have covered the theoretical part but practical what it does see to find this value like e2 value here we have a 1200 we can use this cell as a reference to convert its value for example let me just type it out the indirect function here just select this cell and close the parenthesis let's see what it gives it gives the value of that particular cell so now you must be wondering why we need this formula so you may have various scenarios which we're going to cover in the upcoming minutes so if we just type like this so what does it revert back it revert back the same value not the value which we wanted that was 1200 that's why we need an indirect function to return a specific text string from a cell reference which was the e2 here hope you understand this by now how we can use indirect function in cell reference and there are also a number of ways you can also convert that text string using indirect function suppose you have a number here okay and you may have a lot of values like here like that let's just copy it and paste it here so if you want to find some value let's say a uh, g4 so you want to find the value of g4 using this reference you can easily do that with the help of indirect function how just type it out indirect function here and in the value of ref text here reference text here we will use and various operators like and percent to get the value of g4 how first we need we know we need to find the value of g4 here and g is the column number so we just need to add g here and we will enter and percent here and then we will select this cell here which is actually the cell reference which is the 4 and you can just close the parenthesis here and click enter so yes so g4 value is same like that and you can also does the two way cell references suppose in the same example if we just put a value reference here like that you can use both values like that so let's say it does give a right answer or not so yes it does revert back the right answer so you can also create a data validation here with the different lists here same goes to this so that you can find on the basis of those text references and to find value of that particular cell so hope you understand how to use indirect function in cell references in excel so let's move towards next will be the range reference here see the like the way we have used the cell reference using indirect function we can also select range references you can use the indirect function to convert a text string into valid range reference 
for example here we will sum up all the values stated in e22 e6 okay and from where we are going to get the cell reference from here we get the column number from here let's just put it e here and we know we need a value from second row to sixth row so let me just put it down like there to six such that you get the idea of how this function works so to sum up these value let me just sum it up before using the indirect function to sum up these values we just select this to this right we need a cell from e2 to e6 and to evaluate that with the help of these values here we will use indirect function okay and how go how are we gonna do that we just apply indirect here so in the place of reference first we will select this because e is the starting point of our sum from second to six right and first will be and percent e6 we need a e6 here now let me just cross it down here oh so it's overlapping let me just okay so we got the e number here from the a1 and now to get e2 we need another cell reference which is this right and as we know we need e2 to e6 so we just need to enter this operator here which is also and then we will select this again and so we get the e2 from a1 to a2 right and now we need e6 and to add that we just need to enter this and one mistakes we are doing here is to cover this up we need to enter under the in between of quote and unquote we just need to select the quote and quote here and also and percent okay and percent here also so there we go so we have different colors from different values here cell references here and close it down let's see if it does give us answer or not so we have incurred the mistakes here one more parenthesis so let's see if it does revert back us our result or not so yes so it revert back some from e2 to e6 and to evaluate any formula you can just click on that for formula cell go to the formula and click on the evaluate formula let's see if it does give us same values or not so yes it does give us the same value which is e2 to e6 so that's how you can use indirect function in cell and range reference in excel now we are moving forward to the name range part which is the second so you can also use the indirect function in excel to convert a text string into a valid name range see here we have a sales here as you can see we have a five product code here which is a b c d and e which is of branch one and these are the number of sales for that specific branch and for the second branch we have the same set of product code and we have also sales number here so now we have also created a name ranges for these two branches and if we go to formula and to the name manager here we have created a two name ranges so branch one is a branch one and you should focus on the name here which is branch one because in indirect function we use those references to revert back our values right like we have covered in range references so you should so you should emphasize on the name part which is branch one which we have here a3 to b7 and same goes to the a11 to b15 for the branch two so close it down so here what we need to fill is we need to fill certain criteria here as we can see let me just okay as we can see we have a product code here a and we have a branch specified one and we have sales empty here we need to fill this out so how are we gonna do that we will use vlookup function how see to find any lookup value we use typically use vlookup which is the popular function here if you want to learn more about the vlookup you can also watch the vlookup video in detail where you're gonna learn how to work around that function in six detailed examples so back to this video so let's just write the vlookup formula here let me just do this so in the vlookup we have three main 
arguments here so first one will be the lookup value so lookup value will be this cell obviously right we need to find this particular product code sale in which branch one so now comes the tricky part because we cannot select the table array on the basis of one here but with the help of indirect function we can find named ranges here how we will put indirect function here and in the reference text section we first will write branch here as i've told you before just emphasize on the part of the named ranges which was the branch one so to find the one or two we have a reference numbers here which is the one two one two and to find the branch one or branch two so we have a named ranges which we have branch one and branch two and to identify that one or two we have a column here so we will write the branch manually here right under the quote unquote and we will add a reference here which is the g5 and close it down so we have identified the branch array here so now the column index is second because second is the sales column and yes we want exact match then we will write the false here and close the parenthesis let's see if it does revert us our desired outcome or not so yes it does because a the sales of product a in branch one is 120 and if we apply to all there we go you have created yourself a sorting table on the basis of different branches using indirect function so that's how you can use indirect function for the name range reference so now we are moving towards the third part which is worksheet reference using indirect function so you can use the indirect function in excel to create a dynamic worksheet reference so how so here we have this sheet here which is the name of the students here rahul k mcbrand uh, loka omni etc and you can also see all these students have their own worksheet here as we can browse rahul k mc and we have a number filled in a1 which is also the marks of the same student so what we are going to do is we are going to list that marks here in one worksheet using the name reference here of different worksheet okay so formula is very straightforward first you need to understand how simple worksheet reference look like okay so first if we want to enter rahul's cell here in this what we need to do we just need to open the formula first function operator first and go to the a rahul just go to any worksheet here and there you get this little formula bar here let's click enter so you get all the value here so as you can see the function we have scat is the worksheet name and this little operator here and the cell number so we just need to copy this particular code here and we will get this by the reference of this cell okay so let me just close it down so now in the marks we will use that operator which we have done just now in the indirect function so let me just input the indirect function here so in the reference text what i'm going to do is this and percent under the quote unquote i will just paste it here like this okay and close the parenthesis let's see if it does give us our desired answer or not so yes it does so if we just apply it all here like this so it gives us all marks of these students which are included different worksheet here so hope you understand how to use indirect function in excel to create a dynamic worksheet reference so what is a dynamic worksheet if you just change the value here like he's just failed with the 33 marks and it will just highlight that in the overview worksheet here so hope you understand how indirect function works how to use that in different scenario as we have covered in this video so if you have learned something please click the like button if you want to share this to one of your friends colleagues or social network you can also use the share button if you want to ask some questions regarding this particular chapter the comment box is with you and you should subscribe to the channel because if you want to learn such functions in detail 
then this channel is perfect for you so see you in the next video until then bye bye